This week we've marked the 20th anniversary of the 2002 Joint Sovereignty Referendum. What's the significance of that event today? Sir Peter Caruana, Gibraltar's Chief Minister at the time, told us the referendum was a seminal moment and every political process since has included Gibraltar speaking for itself with its own voice. Once the talks started, I came under huge, huge pressure from the British government to put there. These were lonely. This was the first time that Gibraltar was on its own on this question because previously it was Britain and Gibraltar versus Spain. Mm -hmm. This was Gibraltar by itself versus Britain and Spain together with the support of the EU. Did you feel intimidated? Uh, no, we don't. I don't think we Gibraltarians intimidate easily. Sir Peter said the demonstrations earlier in 2002 were very important, in particular the one held on the 18th of March. It was very important that the turnout should be great. There was a sense of relief that, uh, that the turnout... I'll tell you why, because the British government, I know, were watching it carefully. The British government had prepositioned people along the route to measure the extent <laughs> of the attendance. <laughs> Uh, this was something that a deputy governor later confirmed to me. Really? Uh, and, uh, and, and so it was vital that the uh, attendance was what it was because that was the first signal to the British government that it had its, uh, its work cut out. With Gibraltar now negotiating a treaty for a future relationship with the EU and Spain, what circumstances would require another referendum soon? Sir Peter has a clear view. The test is not whether there is a Spaniard in Gibraltar. We have lots of them. They're all very welcome. The, t the test is, are there Spaniards in Gibraltar exercising sovereign powers or jurisdictional controlled powers in Gibraltar on behalf of the Spanish state? That is the test. If there are, that is a concession on sovereignty. And I'm not even saying whether it is a worthwhile concession to make. I'm not even expressing a view about that. What I'm saying so is that there should be a referendum about it, and, if it is. And potentially, in that referendum, depending on... on, on I've always said it's price or pri price against prize. We all know what the risks are of there being no agreement. The prize is to avoid that. Nothing in life is free. If it doesn't include the things that I've said should go to a referendum, I think that's a judgment for the government. If it does include the things that I have defined as sovereignty, jurisdiction and control, it's a judgment for the people of Gibraltar, not for the government. And it should go to a referendum. Although businesses may feel like there's too much uncertainty, the former chief minister doesn't believe the government should accommodate their need to know at the expense of there being no agreement for everyone. These things have got to be done in a windowless uh, room... Uh, and only when there are agreements, otherwise there never are agreements. And asked by a viewer, Sir Peter said he has no plans to return to politics.